Good morning, Mass Mom staff and students. This is Mr. Alon with your Monday B-Day announcements, and we have a lot today coming into this week, so I'm going to go fast. Upcoming events, students, you see them right there. Please make a note of these on your calendar. And students, as you know, our number one priority as educators at Mass Mom is to keep you safe and healthy so that you can learn. That means reach out to a staff member that you trust if you have concerns or problems because we are here to support you. All right, big news. The soft opening of the Mass Bomb Student Success Center starts today. It opens up in the library today. All right, we've been talking about the students. So daily, we're going to have different things going on. Today, what do we have? Well, every day of the week, you will be able to access the Student Success Center with Ms. Walker uh, daily in the fifth floor library from 7 to 7.30 a.m. Sign in and chill out before first block. Ms. Walker will have some activities for you to do in there or if you just want to chill and have a, a place to be. During your lunch periods, all right, we have our theme day for Monday. It's Mental Wellness Mondays with the counseling team during all lunch periods. Come learn various coping skills to handle life's many challenges. You know, talk about mental wellness and uh, visit with our amazing counseling team. And then after school, Monday through Thursday, we have Homework Zone hosted each of those days from the close of school until 3.45 p.m. Homework zone in the SSC because life is sometimes loud. All right. Monday and Wednesday with Mrs. Choella. And then Tuesday and Thursday with Mr. Thomas. So today, Mrs. Choella is hosting homework zone. Students, please, you can come and get some support from your teachers in completing assignments. Mrs. Choella can help students with a variety of assignments, English and social studies in particular. Tuesday and Thursday is with Mr. Thomas. Math and science would be those specialties. You can come, get some support. Um, you can use a computer in there. Um, and it's it's a nice, quiet place to be and get some of your homework done every day after school in the SSC. Also for Mr. Thomas, need to get back on track with math credits. All right, sometimes students fall behind and that's okay. Um, as long as you are working to catch back up, check in with Mr. Thomas on Mondays from 2.45 to 3.45. Room 407, credit recovery. Let's get this done. All right. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. From our athletics, girls volleyball recap. The Lady Panthers finished last week with one victory and one loss. They head into today's away game against South Philly High, 1-2 overall in the season. Tuesday, Last week, they defeated Samuel Fells in an exciting home volleyball match, three sets to one. Thank you to all of those who came out to support the team. And a special shout-outs to Coach Riley and Mass Bomb scorekeeper extraordinaire, Mr. Thomas. Friday, the team was swept by Hill Freeman in three sets. Today, the team focuses on defeating Southern. Good luck, team. Bump, set, spike, win. And from Mr. Rizzo. And the boys' varsity soccer team, we have a win. I love it. The game results from the Mass Bomb versus West Philly game is 3-1. to one. The game in review from Mr. Rizzo. Thank you so much for this, Mr. Rizzo. Midfielder John Cruz scores Mass Bomb's first goal of the game. John started a jump start at the Panthers, which led to a 1-1 to -one tie at the half. Striker... Yolder Sarabia scored Mass Bomb's second goal early in the second half, motivating the Panthers to continue playing strong as West Philly's offense was placing the pressure on our Panther defense. Mass Bomb's tenacious defense was led by our seniors Hector Rios, Sedell Senate, and sophomore Arad Ginez. Freshman Yehibreth Figueroa, Figueroa. Freshman Kion Turner sealed the deal late in the second half, scoring Mass Bomb's third and final goal of the game taking tremendous pressure off of our senior goalkeeper, who is also the player of the game from Coach Rizzo, presenting this to our very own goaltender and senior student, Mr. Jameen Ross, player of the game versus West Philadelphia, September 15th, 2023. Hey, 
Jamin, great work. Hey, Mr. Rizzo, great work. Thank you very much. Mass Mom Student Council. Remember, students, if you want to get involved, we talked to our ambassadors the other day about this. Check out that tiny URL right there, please. All right. Less than nine and you'll be fine. Ask Ms. Thorne for more details. We're going to have more information coming out about attendance in the coming days. Okay, less than nine and you'll be fine. We want to strive for 95% attendance because all the research says that students that achieve that bar do better in school, do better in college, do better in career because, listen, attendance is really important. We know this, right? You know, whether you're a student, whether you're an employee, attendance is really important. Reminder about the effort checklist and the MassMont PBIS effort checklist and the different items the checklist can earn you in the MassMont Palmart. Reminder about Cooth and Chromebook repairs and social media. I'll have to update our followers pretty soon. The MassMont staff and student shout outs. First, for Mr. Kelly, I'd like to give a shout out to Dewan, Nate, Joshua, Justin, Naisha, Lanaya, Rue, Ariana, Alicia, Luis, Christopher, and Kaisim in my A Day drama class. Great work stepping out of your comfort zones this week. Your willingness to try out new acting games and support each other's creativity is admirable. Miss Walker would like to shout out Samaj McGill. Samaj demonstrated both professionalism and responsibility by checking in with me about his grade. When I had a free minute or two, I checked. Samaj submitted all of his work and is rocking an A in African American history. Keep up the good work, Samaj. All right. And for Mr. Lessie, shout out to the chefs and the culinary arts and the culinary arts students. The turkey sandwich and homemade chips were delicious. It was especially appreciated since I had brought a questionable shrimp roll for lunch on Thursday. Mr. Leslie says he did not eat it. Great to see the Panther Cafe up and running. My guess is it's probably not good on Monday then, Mr. Leslie, if you saved it. And rounding out our shout outs. Shout out to the following students for reaching or exceeding their star reading goal. This is from Mrs. Choella, Joseph Mateo, Carla Perez, Asaya Miles, Arad Ginez, Ame Velasquez, Ramir Caldwell, IJ Lloyd, Jaylene Rivera, Jonathan Cruz, and Carly Jackson. I want to thank Coach Calamag for this. The 2023 Hispanic Heritage Month theme is Latinos Driving Prosperity, Power, and Progress in America. I'm going to be meeting with Ms. Worthman and Mr. King a little bit later today to plan out some activities and recognitions in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month 2023. So thanks to Coach for getting us started. Each year, Americans observe National Hispanic Heritage Month from September 15th to October 15th by celebrating the histories, cultures, and contributions of American citizens whose ancestors came from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central and South America. The observation started in 1968 as Hispanic Heritage Week under President Lyndon Johnson and was expanded by President Ronald Reagan in 1988 to cover a 30-day period starting on the 15th of September and ending on the 15th of October. It was enacted into law August 17th, 1988, on the approval of Public Law 100-402. Finally, staff and students, let's close it out as we do with our school vision. Had a great conversation with some seniors, uh, the senior class on uh, this past Friday uh, at our inaugural senior class meeting for the year, talking about some goals for this year. Our goal is everybody in either college or skilled career, okay, by the end of this year. And that is being a builder because we're mass bomb and we build the future. You all have a great Monday.